So fresh boxes are the subject of today's Food for Thought. Good morning and my name is Jodie Bunting. It's Sunday morning and don't we love a fresh start to a fresh week on a Sunday. So I've got a solution for you, something that I am trying this week and this is Hello Fresh. Now quite a few of my clients are using those. Some of them are struggling with it because a lot of them contain uh, some lots of carbs and some high calorie food. So what I'm going to do today uh, is just unbox first of all what one of these boxes looks like and tell you, share with you my top five meals that are available on Hello Fresh. For those of you who are like, what is Hello Fresh? Basically, uh, there's quite a few companies out there, Gusto and a few others. Uh, it's basically, you get a little delivery of food, and in this box is your food. For, I don't know whether I can say for the week, uh, but basically you can choose how many meals you want, and they will send you the fresh ingredients. So all you have to do is prepare it and cook it. So you don't need to shop, you don't need to think about it, you don't need to look for recipes, because it is all done for you. So uh, I chose five meals uh, and yesterday when I got home these were left on my doorstep. Uh, now you may wonder like how, like if I'm at work all day, how is it going to stay fresh? Well I'll, I'll show you exactly how. So first of all let's go through, um, I'll show you what's in the box shall I? Because that's the exciting bit and then I'll go through my recipes in a moment. First of all, uh, there is a link. I will post it in the comments again. If you'd like to try this and get £20 off your first box, uh, there's a link there. So I paid £40 for this and I got £20 off. So I got £20 for 10 meals because it's five meals for two people. So it's actually a bargain. Um, so when you open your box, first of all, you get lots of little brown bags. Now these little brown bags are numbered. So the recipes have got the numbers on so you can see what things are for what recipes. This is obviously vital because you don't want to be using up everything and then you've got nothing to make your other things. So I'll give you an example. In this bag here, which is bag number 17, uh, let's have a look, which is number 17. Okay, so recipe number 17 is probably the best one, and that is the prawn red Thai curry. Look how amazing that looks, doesn't it look great? So in this bag, I've got some fresh herbs, which is coriander, so fresh coriander. Then I've also got um, long grain quick cook rice. I know it isn't perfect, but just go with it. Uh, rich and creamy coconut milk. Wow, doesn't that look good? Also, a carrot. <laughs> You've also got a lime. You've also got one of my favorite items. I hope it's hot. That's a red hot chili pepper. Um, and then we've also got some sort of sauce, which is obviously the, the curry paste. Another chili. And then finally at the bottom, we have a large courgette. So the things in the brown bags are basically things that you don't need to refrigerate. So they are okay not to refrigerate. Obviously you're best keeping it in a cool, dark place. So that is one of the recipe bags. Then obviously things like the prawns, like how do they get them to me, the prawn, and keep them cold on the doorstep? This is how. So this is like an insulated bag, first of all. And then in this insulated bag, it's obviously not ice now, but this was ice yesterday. It's like an ice pouch to keep it cool. Uh, Pam, uh, Pam is saying, I think you should come to my kitchen to cook. Yes, I will be coming back soon, Pam. Um, so this is the ice bag that comes in. And then obviously inside this bag is where all your cold things come. So for instance, this is not that recipe, uh, but all the cold things were together. So this is chicken thighs. 
some sea chicken thighs are there. Um, then I've also got some delivered some uh, Greek yogurt. Uh, can I also add that the prawns for this one as well were the prawns one, you know those raw prawns that you can buy, so real good quality ingredients. Uh, and that's an example of some Greek yogurt for one of my other recipes. Uh, and then the other thing that was in my cool bag, um, you can order extras. Uh, and as you know, I do like to have big meals. And a little bit, I was a little bit worried that my meals weren't going to be big enough this week. So what I did, you can order extra veg. So I ordered an extra three of these, and that's all the greens, veg on the side. So uh, and they look really nice, big portions, and real good quality greens as well. So as I said, I did order those. But let's go to now, I'll put my stuff back in the box and I'll go through exactly what I ordered. So these are my five top favourite ones. Now, the good thing about HelloFresh, um, it does keep swapping and changing as well. So if you, if you do like new ideas and you get bored quite easily, that's another positive of HelloFresh because there's always lots of new ideas. Uh, they also have categories, there's something called classic, and then there's also something called a rapid. So if you want to make meals fast, um, then obviously rapid is for you. They also price difference as well. So things like with the fresh prawns, uh, that's the, one of the more expensive items. Whereas this aubergine curry was one of the cheapest ones. So let's go through all the recipes that I chose. So number 17, this is the prawn red Thai style curry with rice. So it's rapid, 15 minutes, very hot. Obviously, if you didn't want it very hot, you just wouldn't put those chilies in or just put a little bit. Um, it also tells you it's 1.5 of your five a day. Um, so the ingredients in this is long grain rice, courgette, carrot, lime, coriander, red chilli, red curry paste, coconut milk, and you saw all of those ingredients in that bag ready. What you didn't see, but is downstairs in my fridge, is the king prawns raw. Uh, and then when you turn over that recipe, uh, you've got the photos and the instructions exactly how to make it, which again is foolproof. Foolproof, isn't it? Um, and then it tells you before you start, uh, our fruit and veggies and herbs need to be washed before you use them. Uh, basic cooking tools you will need, a saucepan, a sieve, a fine grater and a frying pan. So I just love the way it's like sets you up perfectly. Um, just a little bit of nutritional information as well. Um, first of all, you can order these meals for two people, three people or four. And it just tells you how many ingredients that you will have. Um, and then it also tells you the nutritional information. So for instance, this curry... Uh, per serving, it's 566 calories. So 566 calories, um, which if you're just having two, me if you stick into 1,000 calories or 1,200, having something like that as your main meal and then two snacky meals for about 200 calories, you know, and this is going to be nice, by the way, uh, then most people will be happy with that. Um, so 566, for those of you counting your carbs, it has got 76 grams of carbs. Obviously because the rice, it's gonna take it quite high. But for those of you looking for a low carb recipe, this is, I would still class this as low carb because it has only got the rice that's basically giving it the carbs. So that's the first thing which I will be uh, making. My other ones are number five. I'm actually making this one tonight. I'll be making a video later. And this is the fragrant aubergine curry. Now, I'm looking forward to this one. 40 minutes to make, medium spice. I'm going to put a bit of extra chilli in. Uh, 2.5 of your five a day, and it is veggie. So there is lots of vegetarian options. Uh, in this one, obviously, you've got aubergine, onion, garlic clove, chickpea, coriander, desiccated coconut, balsamic rice, uh, passanta seasoning, nigella seeds, finely chopped tomatoes, original onion and a vegetable stock powder, Greek yogurt. So there's an example. Uh, calories on that one per serving is 685. So again, that one has got rice. Carb wise, 
uh, that one is 105 so that's higher than the prawn obviously because you've got uh, loads of vegetables in there the third meal I've gone for is number one and that is the herby chicken now that looks like it's the most popular out of them all uh, obviously this has got a little bit of mashed potato um, when I've gone through it because a lot of my clients who were on this have said you know everything's got pasta everything's got bread and it has a lot of stuff has got that in so just trying to stick to rice and potato is the first thing you can do for those of you who are trying to lose weight uh, I won't go through that in depth um, as I say because I'm going to be making videos all this week with details so if you'd like to follow how I'm making all these and go to my YouTube channel, Jodie Bunting, and click the subscribe button. My last two meals, uh, I've gone for number two. I'm actually excited about this one. And this is the Middle Eastern style beef stew. Doesn't that one look lovely? 35 minutes to make, medium spice. Uh, calories for that one are 760 so 765 uh, and that's charred courgettes with couscous and feta so that will be delicious with that feta cheese and then finally check out this one this is a cob salad with chicken thigh and bacon with garlic yogurt dressing now what I didn't realize on this one is it's actually got massive chunks of bread on there because it didn't say in the description I didn't look that closely so when my box arrived and there was a ciabatta roll on the top, I'm like, have they thrown that in extra? But then uh, my mum did spot it. It's on the ingredients list here as well. So uh, uh, be careful with the ingredients. And obviously, because I don't want to eat a lot of wheat and especially not bread, I won't be adding that to my portion. But my mum will gladly have it on her side. Uh, I'll just give you the calories on this. Per serving, that's 587 uh, and to be honest, for those of you who are dieting, trying to lose weight, want to stay healthy, this is probably the best one. So you might want to get a couple of these and obviously get rid of that bread uh, and that's going to be delicious. So I look forward to having that. Maybe I'll have that one tomorrow and that's number 21. So do you use HelloFresh? Do you use Gusto? Do you, do, do you use any of these food box delivery service? Let me know what you think. Um, and as I said, I will be making videos all this week. Uh, and most importantly, the reason why we're doing it is because we want to lose weight, guys. So that's the other thing that we're going to see, whether we feel full and whether we enjoy the meals. Uh, Katie is saying, hey, JD, thanks for the video. It looks amazing. Can I ask, do you get the ingredients or do you buy them? No, you get all the ingredients. So for 20 quid, you literally get the box full of ingredients, Katie, which is, for those of you like me, because I'm trying not to shop in any supermarkets. I don't want to wear a mask, so I'm doing some outdoor shopping, but I wanted to also try some of these delivery services as well. Um, and the Chibata roll just answered my question, <laughs> Katie said. Uh, so if you'd like to get £20 off your first order, as I said, I paid... £40 for these five meals times two, so for 10 meals. So £20 off. It was £40, I got £20 off. If you'd like to get £20 off, I've put a code in the comments, so you can also get £20 off. Uh, delivery slots can be specified. Um, as I said, if you tried HelloFresh or any of the others, leave us a comment, tell us what you think, and look forward to uh, seeing the results this week. Thank you very much for joining me. This has been Hello Fresh. Uh, my name is Jody Bunting, and as I said, subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Jody Bunting. Happy Sunday. I'll be back tonight with another live video when we're talking keto, chocolate, orange, brownies. Bye.